Not far from where Roxanne lives, another family also in Orangefield is without a home tonight as a result of that tornado. Yeah, this woman didn't just lose her home. As Kara Willis reports for us, she lost precious memories. I'm the grand God saved me. He could have easy took me with this house, you know. When 75 year old Carolyn Bodewin sat in her recliner to watch TV, she didn't expect for her entire trailer and belongings to blow away right before her eyes. And all of sudden, the house, the, I could hear the wind like a tornado, and the house started shaking, and it turned dark. And by that time, I leaned back in my recliner, I said, oh God, help me. She says she feared for her life, so she crawled under what was left of her home for safety. She had to go through and lose everything, all your pictures and memories and stuff. Just next door, her family, Tommy Markintel and Aubrey Markintel, say that they're thankful that the family is alive, with ripped up flooring, a missing roof, broken windows, and beloved photographs snatched from the walls of their homes. Tommy says all he could think about was getting him and his family away from the weather chaos. I was just a little shook up and uh, just thank God that my mother-in-law survived because she was in that little trailer and uh, just had to start over, pick up the pieces. They both walked me through what was left of their home and say it all happened with a blink of an eye around 4.30 yesterday evening. It, it took the plugs, the wiring out of the walls, two by fours out of the walls, the roof, everything. The Markintels say now all they can do is wait for help and recover from the loss of so many precious memories. No, this was not happen. It, it terrifying. It puts a big dent in my memories. In Orangefield, Kara Willis, 12 News.